I find this fascinating because a lot of Catholics today believe all religions are equal. They believe that they can dabble in the occult. They believe that these things are all just, you know, normalized. They have no idea really what kind of fire they're actually playing with, do they? No, they don't. And and they certainly don't have a grip on proper reality. And this is a bad area to make a mistake on because the, the implications, mistakes in this area, mistakes in the spiritual realm can have eternal implications. And so, you know, it, it, while it is true, uh, people don't have to convert to Christianity in the sense of going through RCIA, OCIA, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever um, name is being used at the current moment for the program. They don't have to become formal members of the church, but they do have to know and accept that Jesus Christ is going to be the one who obtains the victory here. And maybe that acceptance only comes partway through the process when you've already shown the victim a demonstration of Christ's power over the devil. So fair enough, you know, like, hey, I, I can't be expected to accept somebody as my God if I haven't seen some, some kind of evidence that he actually is God. Fair enough. You know, we'll do that. But the point is, all victory comes from Jesus Christ. So, so what I'm talking about here specifically are non-Christians, you know, a Hindu that comes, a Muslim, um, uh, you know, somebody that comes that does not have baptism. And this is a big deal because it is at baptism that we become sons and daughters of God. Prior to baptism, we are not God's children. We are his creation, but we are not his children. That comes through baptism. That comes from, from the adoption that comes at baptism. Now, I know I will have tens of thousands of Christians uh, re-catechize me in this year. No, this is true. This is absolutely false. We are God's children. No, the scriptures are very clear. We are not God's children until we become God's children, and that comes through baptism. Being a creation of God does not make one his child. That comes through baptism. This is why we baptize. And when we baptize, we move somebody from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. When you're dealing with non-Christians in terms of exorcism, then the prayers are done differently because you don't have that indelible mark of baptism within them. So I've I've got to I've got to use a demonstration of Christ's power as 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 a teachable moment to them. That look, it, it's Jesus Christ Himself whom I'm invoking. That power that you're seeing right now, the, devo, the demon acquiescing to what I'm commanding him to, that comes from Jesus Christ. It doesn't come from me. It doesn't come from the church per se. It comes from Jesus Christ. And so I'm, I'm catechizing and showing them, I'm introducing them to the person of Jesus Christ. So it is a, a wonderful teachable moment in terms of apologetics. It's a proof of the truth of the faith, the proof of the power of Jesus Christ. But it is one that has to be done because I can't. Pre it can't be presumed that they even know who Jesus is. 